In this video, we're going to look at working with fades in Pro Tools. We've talked about basic fade creation in previous videos, but this time we'll take a closer look at the fade settings that are available in the Fades dialog box. To get to the Fades dialog box, you'll need to make a selection in the edit window, and then either choose Edit, Fades, Create, or press Command F on the Mac or Control F on Windows. Then the Fades dialog will appear. First, we'll take a look at the audition and preview controls. In the upper left corner, you can see the Audition button, which you can click to audition the fade. Next, we have the View First and View Second buttons, which allow us to view the fade information for just the first channel of a multi-channel track, or for just the second channel. To view both channels simultaneously, click the Both button. Along the left-hand side of the Fades dialog box, we have our preview controls. Here you can view just the fade curves and hide the waveforms, or view the fade curves with separate views of each waveform, view the fade curves with superimposed waveforms, or view the fade curves with summed waveforms. Pro Tools shows the fade curves in separate waveforms by default. Next are the zoom in and out buttons, which allow you to scale the waveform's amplitude up or down. In the Fade Settings area, we can see our Fade Shape settings for both the in-shape and the out-shape. The options in here include the Standard setting, which can be edited by clicking and dragging in the Curve Editor, or we can choose an S-Curve setting, or we can click in the Preset Curve pop-up menu to choose any of the curve presets. In the center of the Fade Settings area, we can see the Slope and Link settings. Here you have the options of Equal Power, Equal Gain, or you can even set the Link to None, which allows you to adjust the curve shapes and the start and end points independently. Once you're satisfied with the settings, simply click OK to apply the fade. There are several options for modifying existing fades in Pro Tools. You can change the fade curve by double-clicking the fade with the grabber, setting a new fade curve in the Fades dialog, and then clicking OK. To delete a fade, select it with the grabber, and then press the Delete key on your computer keyboard. To delete multiple fades simultaneously, make a selection that encompasses multiple fades, then go to the Edit menu, and choose Fades, Delete. This will delete all of the selected fades, but leave the underlying clips intact. To change the length of a fade, use the Trim tool to click and drag at the start or end of the fade. So that's a slightly more advanced look at working with fades in Pro Tools.